Okay, so everyone has already talked about this, but I don't care because I want to talk about it. So OpenAI just released their new text-to-video model, Sora. If you don't know what OpenAI is, you're stupid and you're living under a rock, but they made ChatGPT, which you've heard of, it's their text-to-text -text generator, and they made Dolly, which is their text-to-photo, I almost said video, photo generator, which actually, it's really good. It's, Dolly is really convincing at making these really photorealistic images. One of the bottlenecks that everyone thinks about is like, okay, you can make a really good photo, but making a video is just so much more complex. And that seems like, at least a couple days ago, it seemed like that, no, nah, you can't really do that. And we saw 11 months ago, you've seen this, you've seen everyone talk about it, the Will Smith video. You can tell that this is AI generated. It this obviously just does not look good at all. It's not convincing anyone, and that's not the purpose of the video. It's just that technology was there. But that was 11 months ago. And like only a year later, this is what videos are looking like today. So you, you've already seen this one of the lady walking through Tokyo. Um, and it looks so realistic. And this is OpenAI's like number one that they want to show you this is the best that they can offer right now but i want to go over some of the other ones that maybe you haven't seen they're just on all of, all of these are on open ai's website i'll link it below this one is a generated video of lagos and it just looks they i, I you can't tell that this at least at first glance if you're watching it in some sort of video you can't tell that this is generated. This looks just so realistic. There's a there's a couple of these videos that look kind of fake. That like you can look at it and you're like, okay, that's that looks off. Something looks weird about it. Like I'll show you this video of this grandma. She's celebrating her birthday. Uh, this one you can tell. Like this doesn't quite look real. And the people in the background actually look real. She looks almost like she just beat the Uncanny Valley, but something just looks a little bit off. This grandma is really actually scary. I I don't like this. Um, this is one of OpenAI's examples of what the model is limited on. Like the nuances of the hands, like they're they're weird. They they don't look like hands. I don't know what's going on there. That's looks honestly terrifying to me. I, this looks really weird. I don't like watching this. Like, despite this, these videos look extremely convincing if you're not looking for bad things. And with the Will Smith video, you could obviously tell this is an AI video. This is not real. This is just generated. Right now, you can do detective work and you can see that they're fake. But if one year ago that the, with the Will Smith video, if that's how good the tech was or that's how bad the tech was then and how much it's improved just imagine six months from now it it's going to be almost virtually impossible to tell what is real and what is fake i'm not going to search for everything wrong in this video but watch this lagos video again and look at just the people around the main characters because the main characters they look fine they look real but look at the people around them these videos don't have audio by the way but watch I mean, the people in the center look fine, but this guy in the background, he's like just disappearing and molding into the background. This guy in the pink, pinkish white shirt, he's carrying a baby. You can see, like it, it blends, it doesn't look real. You can tell that's fake. But if you're not, if you're not looking for this stuff, you're not going to notice that that was fake. There's just no way you can notice. I think something that looks a little jarring at the end here, the the cars on the highway have like a wacky frame rate. They're like studying, stuttering. But that's because I watched it a couple times and I was looking for things that are wrong. I did not notice any of these flaws the first time I watched it. There's still limitations, obviously, on the model for the backgrounds, for the people in the backgrounds and these nuances with the hands going like this and metamorphosizing whatever but it it i just cannot express that 
this looks real. This is not Uncanny Valley. These people look real, but they're not. These people are fake. I know that there's a few ways that they're trying to combat just tricking people and some of the negative things that come with these generated videos. So first off, they're saying that they're gonna include metadata in the videos. So I'm gonna give an example. When I, I was downloading all of my photos and everything from my whole life, from my mom's Facebook and Shutterfly, and I wanted to get them all in chronological order so I could like look through them and find them easier and to ha kind of have like a collection of my whole life. To change it, before Apple let you change the dates on it through like the settings or whatever, that wasn't a thing. I used an app called Metadata, Metadata, and that allowed you to change like the files or whatever that told the computer what this video is and information about it. And so OpenAI is saying that they have some sort of metadata tags that will tell the servers and everything that this is AI, this is AI generated. But they also said that if you just screen record it or they just spit, if you just screen record it or take a screenshot of it, that that metadata is overridden because it's a new file. It's not the same thing. So yes, it's a step in the right direction. I think the step in the right direction would be not developing this technology at all, but whatever, it's a free market, do what you want. You also notice that they have a watermark in the bottom right of all these videos and they're kind of like rainbowy and they shift into the open AI logo. Oh, I'm about to burp. No, I'm not. I am, excuse me. Um, and so that's a good way to tell that, okay, this video is AI generated, but I'm sure in the future, you're just gonna be able to use AI to take out that AI watermark and then boom, you're not gonna know what is, what is AI, what is real, because these watermarks, that you can bypass them. You, that's, that's not, if they can generate videos from nothing, they can, f people can find a way to take out this watermark and trick people and get money off of it. And so I'm not like a conspiracy theorist, but I really believe that in the next five years, this is basically gonna infect every single part, not only of just the internet, but just your f feet on the ground, blue collar jobs. Like this technology will be everywhere. There is not really any single place that artificial intelligence is not going to affect. And there's good sides of it, sort of like in the medical field, you can have tech that will determine instantly that's a tumor, that's cancer, that's, that's good. But the problem is, is I, I hate, hate sound like this. They're taking our jobs, Ugh. but this will take so many jobs. If this technology can detect a tumor, what is the person who gets paid to detect to detect the tumor gonna do nothing they're gonna lose their job i'm sure they have other things to do but you get my point with these videos you're not going to be able to tell what's real and if these platforms or governments or whatever don't do anything to combat ai technology which will be virtually impossible i don't think there is a way i don't know um this will be everywhere. All the content you consume will be AI generated. What I'm doing right now, I'm spending time, I'm talking to the camera. Someone in one year is going to be able to, oh, okay, make a video of this guy saying this thing and it's just going to be boom. It's going to be created and you can't beat that. And this is also extremely terrible for animators. So if you look at these videos, they don't just do hyper-realistic, they do animations. I mean, look at this. This looks like Pixar quality. This looks so good. What What is the point of hiring animators or anyone creative if you can just place a prompt and generate it? There is nothing good about this technology. Because everyone, everyone says, oh, AI can't replicate a person. They can't replicate a, like, 
a personality or all these minor details and they're, they're going to get really close. You're not going to be able to tell if I'm real, if the president's real. You're not going to be able to tell. And OpenAI has these limitations. They're like They don't want sexual content being made out of it, this. They don't want, like, you can't generate things of people. But when there's a will, there's a way. And with this being developed, people are going to develop technologies to use it for much more heinous acts. I, I really hope that someone does something about this. I mean, you always hope. I think that there's got to be more of a push to create limits on what AI can be a part of because there's obviously good sides, bad sides. I'm taking a very pessimistic approach to this, but if you don't do that, then AI is going to really be everywhere and you won't know what is real and i want to i want to reiterate this point that a lot of people have made but this is the worst that this technology will get from here it will just become getting better and better and better and soon all these things in the background that we're pointing out and all that's silly they won't be problems anymore they will be fixed and everything will just look like real like real, like reality. I'm thinking if we we go even 20 years from now, we're going to look back on this time in 2024 and we're going to say this was the turning point. We're living through the biggest change that is ever happening, like how we learn with the Industrial Revolution. This is the pivotal moment in our species history where the most change is going to happen at the fastest rate imaginable. And on that note, that's all I have to say. Bye.